I'm on my own on the boat, so I, I could have waited for Frick to get back. But I am in in a hurricane zone and in hurricane season, so there could or there could not be a possibility that I will have to sail Sisu down to Trinidad if something comes our way. Um, so I would I would also want to feel comfortable with Sisu. We are two crazies from South Africa. That is Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Home alone! <laughs> um, yeah, you've all realized by now that I'm on my own in Granada on anchor and Frick is in Iraq. I'm currently here in, in Iraq doing another project for for the United Nations. Yeah, boat life is expensive. <laughs> you need to get money every now and then. We've been getting quite a couple of inquiries or, or comments on our, our recent couple of videos where our subscribers wanted to know with all this commotion going on with the, the lagoons, bulkheads, not being up to scratch, uh, they were wondering how we felt about leopards and if we checked our bulkheads. Uh, people are thinking that we also might have a problem with our bulkheads. And I asked Petru to, to check it out, but we need first need to find out where all the bulkheads were and whether there's any issues or something like that. What we've done is I've um, reached out to, as Rick said, to to Robertson Kane um, to find out if they've got more detail. It's very difficult to get into all the little nooks and crannies to get you good footage of exactly what the bulkheads look like and the tabbing and everything that goes with it. So I've done footage which I'm going to show you of Sisu. As you can see I'm in the engine room, I'm in the port side. So we are looking at the engine room bulkhead. Uh, if I go closer, you can see the tabbing here is brilliant. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here quickly. Um, you're going to hear the word tabbing quite a bit. Let me try to explain to you what the tabbing is all about. I'm using cutting boards. So if this would be the side of the hole or whatever that needs the, the bulkhead needs to be attached to. So the bulkhead gets attached to the side. So to stop this from, from dislodging or deforming or moving up and down, whatever, I'm going to put this down like this now. So what they do is they tab it in by glass fibering a, a, thick, a thick portion here, so it goes like that. So when you look from the front, it goes like that, round like that. So that's that thick rounding that you see that they've glass fibered it in. Look at this thick fiberglass so and this bulkhead doubles up as a, a crash compartment as well you can see there's no openings going through to the inside of the boat so if the sail drives for some unknown reason should um, this lodge will break and the engine room floods there's no ways of the water getting into the rest of the boat so we're in the port aft cabin and this bulkhead goes all the way through to the starboard side. So yes, we know the bulkhead is behind this trim here, but we don't need to, at this point in time, we don't see the necessity to take it off because there's no, nothing indicating that there could be a problem. Uh, we are looking specifically there for expansions or movement. Our cupboard doors are still aligning. So there's absolutely, at this point in time, no reason for us to suspect anything. That there's anything out of the ordinary. Okay, I'm sitting down below in one of the bulges at the aft cabin. And um, there is the door to the aft cabin, which is the bulkhead around it. So I'm down below now. So this is the bulkhead underneath the floor. 
Now we've just had shelves put in here, so that is not standard. But as you can see, the tabbing is brilliant and it's all glass fibers and painted white, so we can't see any cracks going through there. And while I'm down here, um, so this is what you would call a corridor support. So there's three of them in this, or it, on both sides, there's three of them in the passage section. So they are here to support the actual holes, the individual holes. So there's three of them here, one underneath the forward um, bed and one underneath the aft bed. And as you, as you can see, I'm still in the bulges. So we are looking now at the other two corridor supports. This is the forward one, going all the way around. And you can see these no cracks, no nothing. It's all glassed in. Perfect. There's also no cracks. We're coming underneath a saloon floor, and this is where our MPPT3s are and the air conducts and everything. So let's see what we can show you inside here. There is the the bulkhead over there. You can see it's extremely thick glassed in. And that is the companionway bulkhead that they refer to. So that is between the aft saloon and the main saloon or the aft cabins and the, the corridor. And this footage was taken when Sisu was in production. So that is Sisu. But there you've got a good indication of what the companionway bulkhead looks like. I'm in the forward cabin now. And this is the bulkhead here. There's nothing happening on the floor, no cracks, no bulging, no nothing. Um, going all the way around. So again, the earth's going down all the way. And down below, I'm going to show you now. So the bulkhead, which they call the mast bulkhead, is on the forward, between the forward cabin and the corridor, coming all the way down, down, down that I showed you just now. And then we're going underneath. And here we have it in front of us. Again, all nice and neatly glassed in, painted white. And the tabbing is brilliant there. You can't see any cracks. Going down into the forward peak. We have a, let's get the camera down there, and that is your forward peak bulkhead, which also doubles up as a crash bulkhead, which is down here, a crash compartment, should I rather say. So again, you can see in there, should we eat the container or whatever, this is completely sealed off, so the water won't get into the rest of Sisu. So we're on starboard side now, so under these floorboards, all the way to the front there would also be those three corridor supports, and underneath the master cabin bed is another support. Here's your mast bulkhead again leading to the forward head and again I've inspected everything and there is absolutely nothing out of place and I inspect it underneath the floor as well same as I did on the port side. Hunky dory now I have crawled up <laughs> in the main cabin's cupboard, so I, this would be the staircase leading up to the home station. I'm just trying to shine a light there, so this would be the bulkhead at the rear that separates the, the aft 
cabin from the passage leading forward. Okay, I'm trying to get to show you more of the companionway bulkhead. There it is. All the way there, you can hear the fridge running here. And if we go further up, there you can see the bulkhead sticking out there, the green. And this, folks, is what it looks like under the floorboards. So those are storage bins over there. Also glass fiber, tabbing is done. I am now in the forward starboard head. Oh, this is the black tank. But there is also a good example of how the tabbing is done and what the forward, what they would call the mast bulkhead looks like. Let's go to that most bulky, but ta-da! Look at this. One big mother fluffer of a stainless steel eye beam. And this is what the baby looks like. <laughs> The whole thing that keeps the whole lot together and on that H you can see that is where the pressure plate goes where the mast is mounted on. Running all the way here from starboard side all the way to port side which you can't see because it's a, it forms an H frame there in the front which I will show you just now where the compression post is mounted. Oi, there we go. Look at those bolts. And that's the one. This is one massive stainless steel eye beam. And that is where it forms the H right up at the front there. Let's see what I can zoom in. So this baby is going nowhere. So it actually overlaps both the, the inner sides of the holes and then it runs all the way across the bridge deck to the other side. And this is the port side of that baby. This is one monster frame holding Sisu together. So if we look at this picture of Sisu in production, You'll see right here at the bottom left of the screen is the aft bulkhead, the companionway bulkhead. And look at this thick reinforcement that's in it here at the bottom, this thick green. And then if you look forward where those two blue drums are standing, that would be the mast bulkhead. And you can see there's one solid thing running all the way from port side to starboard side. And all that reinforcement going on there... Um, which just make it a super, super sturdy structure. And the A-frame or the I-beam or whatever you want to call it, runs all the way, as you can see there at the bottom, it will go there all the way from the one door to the other door. So it actually overlaps the bridge deck, it, it overlaps the actual hole. And um, this structure, or it basically keeps the whole eye, uh, the whole bulkhead in place so it stops it from it won't wobble it won't move up and down it won't move forward or backward there's a solid structure happening there and finally we get to the compression post which is housed inside of that fancy stainless steel thing but when we look under here there's a compression post and it goes all the way down and this is where it's actually mounted onto the H frame the two things that I I must add here, yeah, um, the whole thing with Pali Revival with their lagoon bulkheads not, not being up to scratch. They have now sorted out their problem, they fixed it, and their bulkheads actually now look like our bulkheads. And the second thing I need to mention as well, um, just bear in mind whenever you are considering buying a catamaran, a new catamaran, 
Leopard is situated in Cape Town. So, and it's cheaper to have a delivery skipper deliver the boat than on an ocean liner. So, the Leopard's maiden voyage will inevitably be an ocean crossing. I mean, if they come to America, it'll be the Atlantic crossing. If they go to Australia, it'll be the Roaring Forties. And if they want to go further up east, it will be up our wild coast plus the Indian Ocean. And so Leopard had to make pretty damn sure that these boats could handle these situations. Um, they didn't know if the client wants to have it delivered or shipped. So boats have to be ready to cross an ocean. I hope you found that comforting. <laughs> I sure as hell did. Um, it was amazing to see all this and to go into all these and um, to check everything. So I feel very comfortable sailing Sisu um, should a hurricane approach me without frick on board. So, oh yes, definitely a big, 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 big plus for Leopard. You know how to do it. This is a tank. She is built to last. <laughs> we are super super chaff glad you watched this thank you